Hokey dokey. Another example for this problem. If you need more of a breakdown, please visit the other example I've worked out. Uh, for this one, I'm kind of just going to, you know, go through the process like I would regularly. So um, we are given a cost equation representing uh, junior programmers or with respect to junior programmers, which is X and senior programmers, which is Y. So they say use marginal cost, which means we want to find the first derivative with respect to X, the first derivative also with respect to Y. So this would be like the marginal cost with respect to X or with respect to junior programmers. And then CY would be the marginal cost with respect to senior programmers. So I'm going to not waste any more time. We're going to find the partial derivative first with respect to X, which is 868. We'll stay right where it is. LN of anything goes to 1 over that anything for its derivative. And then we want to multiply this by the derivative of the inside with respect to X. So X, the X term, goes to 1 when we find its derivative. And then Y squared is attached to it. It's multiplied by it, so it will come along for the ride. So that's why the derivative of the inside is 1 Y squared. So we move on to minus 34 X Y. Minus 34x has a derivative of minus 34. And then because that y was tacked on to the x term, and we're treating y as a constant, when we find the derivative with respect to x, it'll be carried along for the ride. So then we move on to plus 202x, which has a derivative of plus 202. And then the remaining terms don't have x in them, so we are treating all of them as constants, which have a derivative of 0. So then... We are done for CX. We're going to find the derivative now with respect to Y of the original function. So we have the 868. The LN piece or the LN derivative piece will stay the exact same because LN of something goes to 1 over this something. But then we need to find the derivative of this with respect to Y. The derivative of Y squared would go to 2Y. But then the X would stay along for the ride because it was attached to begin with. So then that's the ln piece. We take the derivative of minus 34xy. The y term goes to 1, but the minus 34x gets carried along for the ride. So the derivative of that y term was just 1. So then we move on. 202x has no y terms in it, so we're treating it as a constant, which has a derivative of 0. Then we move on to this. Minus 14y squared, take its derivative, and we have minus 28y. And then plus 3,000 goes to zero. So we have CX and CY. I may simplify them a little bit. And then what we'll do is plug in 17 for X and 9 for Y. And then we will be looking for the more negative answer to tell us who we will be hiring or not. So uh, before we plug in values, I'm going to simplify this just a little bit. Uh, we have in here a Y squared. I guess let's start by multiplying these. So... 1y squared can be multiplied on the top here, and then we can cancel those y squareds, leaving us really with just 1 over x. And we can do kind of the same thing down here. So we can bring these terms, x times 2y, or 2xy, up top. We can cancel an x. We can cancel one of the y's. So we are left with just 2 over y and you know this times 1 would just be 34x and that's pretty much it so now what I'm going to do is plug in 17 for x 9 for y into both of these and then I'll come back with the answers all right so now we have our CX value uh, with uh, x equals 17 and 9 equals y plugged into CX here and then 17 and 9 plugged into CY here so let's analyze these values real quick we have negative 52, negative 53-ish. This is the marginal cost associated with hiring one more junior programmer, since X was junior programmers. And then this is the marginal cost with respect to hiring one more senior programmer. Meaning, if we hire one more junior programmer, the cost for the company will go down about $53. That's pretty good. But then, if we hire one more senior programmer, the cost for the company will go down over $600. So because they're asking which one is most cost effective, the second one is much more cost effective because it's going to lower the cost for the company by hundreds and hundreds of dollars 
relative to you know hiring one more junior so it's more cost effective to hire a senior because it's the more negative value that's why i mentioned that earlier so it uh, looks like the project manager should hire one more senior programmer is our best answer and it looks like that is our answer here if you have any questions let me know if you need more of a breakdown please visit the other example i've worked out